Hello and welcome to a look at annualised returns with me, Andy Duncan, at Finlingo.com. If you watched our video on holding period returns, or HPRs, you'll already know that an HPR is unrelated to any particular period of time. The same figures generate the same answer regardless of how long the time period is, even if it's one nanosecond or even if it's one billion years. However, we will usually need to translate different holding period returns into annualised returns so we can make comparisons between different investments. The translation is quite straightforward. Here's the equation. We simply figure out how many times the HPR would fit into a single year, then we use this equation to get an annualised return. Here's some example figures. We've got a period of three months for the HPR. The HPR itself is 3.09%. So what's the annualised return? Let's copy those figures into an Excel scratchpad to find out. Because the HPR covered three months, that means four of these periods would fit into a single year. If the HPR was a month, then 12 would fit into a year. Over two months, it would be six annual periods. If the HPR was four months, three periods, six months, two periods, 12 months, one period, and so on. Once we've got the annual periods, just plug in the HPR and the annualised return pops out the other side of the equation, in this case being 12.94%. Let's see an example then on finlinger.com. First, isolate the key figures, plug them into the equation, get the answer. Now select the answer on finlinger.com, time to move on, job done. Keep going until you've drilled this fairly simple equation into your brain and you'll be able to hoover up exam marks in just a few seconds per question. Head over now to finlinger.com to learn this equation plus hundreds more to pass your financial exam first time with amazing flying colours. Finlingo. Speak. Finance. Fluently.